Hey, it's Chrissy Lulu. If you like and subscribe now, you can get free expired coupons. Click it now. Quick, quick. Okay. Anyways, we're moving on to Black Notebook here. And we're going to look at some of the art in here. Um, just from looking at this, it's my art history book. And I know I, this was a very um, note intensive class, so there might be not be a ton of actual sketches in here. The first sketch we come across is really awful. You go, guys. Enjoy. A little Roman. Um, there's a lot of little doodles for class. If any of you guys are interested in Greek and Roman architecture, here you go. Learn through some pictures. Um, so this is actually can be helpful for your art. This is contrapposto, and it's kind of a new technique that they came for up with, um, quote unquote new for Roman, as opposed to Greeks. Um, uh, well. I think it was later Greeks that came up with this, but it's pretty much a more relaxed pose to make it look like they're moving in their mid-step rather than stiff in, in sculptures, which is kind of an important thing to have in your art too, is make sure your drawings aren't stiff. Contrapposto. Look it up. Sorry for the little ramble. Oh. Got a little Estelle in her little old outfit. I don't even remember that outfit, so, you know. Little Estelle here. Oh, got a little triangular doodle guy right there. Oh, I think this is a little Mika. I just didn't draw her ears. Come on, focus. There she is. Cute in between the lines. So, yeah, so far, not a ton. I apologize. Here's, this looks like it's Roman. Here's even more Roman. More Roman. Oh, that's for Roman churches. Well, Mika and Amika, not great, but they exist. Um, I did do a lot of doodles of stuff so I could remember it from classes is David holding the goat or sheep. Oh, little Mika and Pen. That's so cute. She looks so excited. I think I actually did do a little finalized kind of piece of this. Um, more churches. Yep. Sorry if this is not the most interesting. Mary and Jesus. Yeah, this was um, pre-Renaissance art. What this class focused on. A little Stelly. Not the best, but it exists. More stuff about churches with ambulatories and apses apses and gritty eating chapels. Fun stuff. If you ever want to design like some churches, this can be actually some important stuff to look at. Is the design of churches. Actually, this class really made me interested in just the design of churches. Just actually beautiful and how much work went into them. And they just got even more crazy as time went on. This was supposed to be her in like some sort of armor because she is, you know, a warrior in a way. Mika, Bad Roman. Let's see. All three. Not great. Um, oh, that's kind of cute. A little Roman doodle with my Sharpie pens. Stelly. I don't, I think that it's supposed to be Junko. It's really not good. Another Junko. Little row. Another row. As you can see, I really did like using pens in class. Oh! The second half of this is actually archaeology. Fun. At least this back part. Here's a little Mika. He's a, a kind of a hand. It's not the best, but it's a hand. 
Hi there, Mika. Very cute. It reminds me of that little Estelle piece I had before. He was Roman in pajamas. Yep. I was trying to make this be a little Mika petting, like touching, booping the nose of a dog. Never drew the dog. So it's just a little Mika squatting down. Here's some Junes from 999. Estelle. Another Mika. Row and a hand. Another Roman. Steli. An unfinished face. Which happens actually quite a lot. Oh, this was during... Okay, that's really not good, but I was trying to draft out my demons and stuff. Here's another Roman. No shoes. This was before his shoe time. I, I have added shoes since. These really aren't great sketches, but they exist. Let's see. Louis gal. She does look slightly off. I'll answer my own question. Here we go. Messy Romans. Whoa, heck a lot of hair. Yep, that's Estelle for you. Heck a lot of hair. Another Estelle. This is with her newer little religious outfit. Not a great Mika, but that's a Mika. Oh, um, I have a little Estelle here. I think that was supposed to be Estelle. Another Estelle sitting on a wall. I do like drawing people sitting on walls, I guess. <laughs> I've done that twice. Oh, little cute Estelle. Look how happy she is carrying the basket. Oh, this is one of my favorite things I've drawn of Estelle. I actually have this as a sticker on Snapchat. Little Estelle going, so cute! <laughs> I love it so much. It's really one of my favorite art drawings of her. Probably the most finalized thing you're going to get out of these. So, Roman, I think he's holding a pencil. I think that's Mika. Oh, yeah. Like in little Chinese-ish garb, I think. Or Asian garb. Here we go, little Estelle. We got a little row. Row. Still. Okay, and this was after I got all my Sharpie pens. As you can see, we've got some very colorful notes. And I also write in pens that are very hard to read. I use kind of like whatever pens I have on me a lot of the time. This is not a great Estelle, but there she is. Two rows. Another still. Not great, but interesting nonetheless. Oh, okay, and I drew these actually from my boyfriend. Here's a deer on a computer. It's actually one of my favorite drawings I've ever done. <laughs> um, I had like an obsession with drawing deers at the time. Um, actually, if you go on my YouTube, I did do a drawing of a deer in Bic Markers. So you can go click that out. I'll put it in the cards for you to check out. Um, I still do like the drawing. Um, but yeah, here's... I, I drew... Freehand drew a deer sitting on a chair at a desk with a really old computer having computer problems for my boyfriend and his little... Um, he had a presentation he had to do, so... I sketched up some characters for him. There's one more on the back. And it's a girl on her phone. Yep. I color them in for him to make them more presentable. So yeah, what's up for black notebook? Moving on to pretty much empty yellow notebook. Okay, so I, this is like lots of skill sketches. It looks like. Oh, this is my peoples and cultures of Latin America notebook. Fun. So this is pretty much another drawing of Estelle. The flowers. You sent. You've seen a version of this before. So let's just cheer again. This is just. A mess of, more of pen. It kind of looks cool. It's like all the Sharpie pens together. I, I don't know what I'm hiding there. I think I drew something and it ended up pretty bad. So I did just a lot of sketches of people. Um, if you notice when I do like fleshless people and I draw them, I kind of make their limbs sticks, knees circles, hands and feet kind of are more triangular and add their head. I box out their hips and their chest. I think I learned this from a manga. I think I, I picked it up from a manga drawing book. Um, it's really not a good book. I would not recommend it, but I think that's kind of where I kind of took that from. And it helps me make sure that I'm actually giving some width because 
these body your body is not just sticks <laughs> especially like in the torso area you need to get that wide enough so yeah here's a little she's a little very off balance it looks like but Estelle here and Mika Estelle Roman Estelle and yeah very short arm I still have problems sometimes I end up with really short arms look cute Estelle horrible hands Roman hey Roman well this is an awkward pose kind of creepy Estelle because she doesn't have a nose it just kind of looks weird let's see if I can get it to focus there's a little Estelle right there yeah no nose <laughs> this looks horrendous it really does and then here's another one that I actually do have another sticker of on snapchat I riff you I think I drew this on Valentine's Day, from what I remember. And there we go, some more. Little Mika, Steli. These are all supposed to be Roman. Roman with the hair done, down, done. Jeez. My little Estelle, if you didn't know, she is a midget. I'm not great at drawing children, but I did a little freehand child here. Steli, little Mika and a bow. Hiding her ears. Here's Roman. And a little chopped up Estelle. Um, okay. That's more. Um, this is actually really cute. I like this. Kind of really does show off the kind of height differences. I don't know if it's 100% accurate. But um, yeah, here's Estelle. Estelle's actually, I think, a little bit more shorter than Mika is in this picture. So she should probably be a little bit shorter. And then Roman is the tallest. He's supposed to be like six foot or something like that. More Mika's. Really not great, but they exist. There we go. Okay. So that's it um, for that. And we're actually going to be moving on to this past year in notebooks. So these are the pun notebooks. Um, I'll be showing them off. Um, I'll save ceramics, this one, the one that's actually a different notebook than the rest. Um, it says looking sharp. We're going to save that for later because I know it's got a lot of art in it and it specifically has to deal with my ceramic stuff. So we'll save that for either last or another video entirely when I'm talking about stuff I've done for ceramics. So yeah, let's get into it. So again, starting off with it. A lot of sketches. This was accounting. Accounting's fun, isn't it, guys? Aw, Estelle. My Roman. Another sassy little Roman. I think that was supposed to be me. This is another one that's supposed to be me. Rule number one, trust no one. Rule number two, remember rule number one. And I did a lot of these little guys. Kind of like um, I'm an Animal Crossing kind of chibi kind of people. I did a couple of those. Here's... Amika, I'm trying to show off her long tongue because I've decided she's got a super long tongue. <laughs> okay. There's a random girl. Horrible Roman. Kind of reminds me of like old anime in a way. Not saying that old anime is horrible, but you get the idea. Tons of mermaids. She is adorable. Here's the little Estelle guys. Did her as a mermaid, I think. Just someone random. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh, another Estelle. I did a lot of drawings. Here's here's a goofy little Mika. Mika with short hair. Mika with I think her tongue's supposed to be out there, but it doesn't look great. So yeah, sorry if I'm poisoning you guys with accounting, learning math. I might keep this because accounting is important to know, guys. And it wasn't too hard a class. Honestly, I didn't find it very hard at all. I kind of actually really enjoyed the class, and I did do a lot of doodling in class. A little cute Roman here. This is at the beginning of last year, just so you know. Let me have this focus again. So yeah, just a lot of math here, isn't it? Uh, various different tones. Oh no! Okay, so we're moving on to Sociology of Aging and Death. I actually just took this last semester. So in each of these, we are moving from 
first semester to second semester. Just so you know, they were all used throughout the whole of my junior year. Okay. There is off of bird person. So I must have not done a ton of drawing in this class. We were talking about people dying and stuff. And here's a couple of doodles I actually did for Mermaid. If you guys are interested, it's kind of funny that I actually did some mermaids at the beginning before Mermaid. Um, I did do this idea. I kind of did something like this. Um, I did do this idea. And I never really got around to this one. But um, I was kind of stuck on ideas, if you don't know, for Mermaid. So I did some sketching to try and help myself out. And actually, I still do. If you can't see, I have a lot of paper left. <laughs> And this is two classes worth of notes, so, yeah. <laughs> College, everybody. Okay, so we're, we're moving to, this is how I roll, notebook. Um, this one's not going to have anything in it. Apologies. I barely use this one. I'll save this one. To the side, um, we've got avocado cardio. Then avocado doing cardio. I, I love my puns, guys. Hello, Meek. Hello, Stell. Random face. So, this is another art history class, just so you guys know. Legs, more stuff. This is um, Renaissance to Modern. Just so you know, if I do any doodles like this, you know what's going on. And I tried to do like a little religious inspired piece that they might have of Estelle because she is the religious leader. If you did not know of her bridge. Another stow. Oh, little girl here. I think that's probably supposed to be me. This is a pair this is for some type of thing. Okay, I'm gonna actually have to keep those, but I don't know why they're in there. Um, more contrapasto posed. Go. This is I don't know who that is. I think that's supposed to be Roman. Here's Nestel. Did a lot of doodling in class. You can't tell. My paper actually kind of buckled under this. This is like all gel pen. It's all sparkly. This is Mika. This is a random girl. She kind of reminds me of like a pastel goth and a tutu. A little Stelly. I think this is supposed to be Estelle and a really big poofy goat and it's adorable. And actually, that bled through this paper so bad. <laughs> so yeah, sometimes I, I don't do great at paying attention in class, and I get really distracted. So don't get distracted, guys. Oh, still. You might start recognizing some artist names in here. I'm not gonna stick to any of them. I'm just quickly passing by a couple. Okay, these are notes for my final everything. Pause and read them if you really want to. Okay, and this is the class that literally murdered me last last year. So yeah, um, horrible. But anyways, yeah, I I did not. I just kept. Bringing Snapple to class and then drawing my Snapple. So I kind of yelled at myself to stop that. Um, there's probably not going to be a ton in here. Got some forensics. Cute little girl. What a cute little girl. Boop. This is my icon at the moment. Yes, it did come from a notebook. Um, I was listening to someone's presentation. It was not a very good presentation. But anyways, I drew a really nice pastel that I really liked. Oh, cute Roman. Another Roman, kind of in the same kind of style that I did the Estelle on the other page in. Okay, of course this happens when you write in pencil, everything, you know. Another Roman. This was, I was trying to take notes of what this guy was saying, because we had to do something on it. I just drew a girl in my class, or at least something inspired by her. Little face. 
boxes, more boxes. Yep. I want to keep this one too. I just want to throw them out. Here's our last one for today. Faux show. I love these. I found them at Staples. I don't know if they're selling them there again this year. Um, I already kind of have notebooks, but I love them. They're so cute. I must say these were worth the more than 99 cents I paid for them. I, I paid like $2 for each of them, which is too much to pay for a notebook, guys. Don't pay that much. But yeah, um, we got deer back here, guys. They're really not good deer because I'm just doing them randomly, and they're not supposed to be exactly deer. So we got Roman, Mika, Roman, Stell, Stell, Elephant, Elephant, Skull. So yeah. But anyways, this is for Plague's people in history, so be wary. There might be some gross stuff written in here. We got Stell, Mika, Mika. We're just going to be looking at the pictures. This is actually one of my favorite drawings I've done of Estelle, or of Mika. It's Mika, but she's very cute. It's just... It's a very nice pose, and she's supposed to have little claws, too, just so you know. Um, I did this in my Crayola pencils, my erasable Crayolas. Um, as you can see, they're kind of not the best for sketching in, especially if you want to do details. And they're very, they very faint sometimes. This is also one. It's kind of hard to lay down the pencil. I wouldn't recommend them for coloring. There's an Estelle. I don't know who this is supposed to be. Oh, it looks like a ram and no short hair. Stelly! I think this is supposed to be Roman. Yeah, this is Roman taking his shirt off with a bam bun. I love it. So cute. He's got just so much sass there. I love drawing him with just more character than he normally has, just because sometimes he just doesn't seem to have much. Oh, Mika with some flowing braids. Hiding those those ears. And Estelle. Just so you know, guys, Ebola is not airborne. We won't catch Ebola from the air. Yep. Um, ask me about diseases. I know a lot about diseases now. <laughs> I don't know what this is supposed to be. Oh, horrible bat creatures. Estelle. Sometimes happens. This is a really cute little girl in a, some skimpy clothes, but it's what I wanted to draw at the moment. It's, hey, no shame. If you want to draw stuff like that, draw it, okay? You're not drawn for other people. You're drawn for yourself, aren't you? Or else, why are you even drawing, right? It's at least the kind of view I want to take on it. Draw what you want to draw. Don't want, Don't draw what other people want you to draw unless they're paying you. And this is forensics now, so fun. There's bones. Um, I really, actually, really like this femur. So, yeah, I actually have a drawing here that I really like. Um, here's pelvises, telling the differences between male and female pelvises. Yeah, so yeah, so yeah. Remember, females have wider pelvises and wider hips than males for birthing reasons. And. Here's the wings of the kind of butterfly shape of them. But yeah, this is just pretty much... A lot of this is going to be drawings of bullet wounds and stuff, and how a wound looks on the bone. So yeah. Um, and then here is just a whole skull, or skull for me to be able to identify the bones. Pretty much what we had to learn are which bones are where. So we've got cervic, thoracic, lumbar, and the sacrum, which is your tailbone. And then we had to learn the axis and the atlas. So atlas is the first one, the axis is the second one. We needed to learn stuff on the, on the skull, and then a bunch of bones in the body, and how the pelvis is made up. So I did a little doodle to try and help myself, and then hand and feet bones help you learn how your hands work um yes your your feet have three different bones in them except this is kind of where your toes kind of end these are all under the skin but i mean if you're trying to figure out 
how hand looks. Make sure it can fit the bones in correctly. Um, that can help, it might be why your hands aren't looking correct when you're drawing them, is because you're not following the bone structure. Which, I mean, you don't want to draw bones and then draw right on top of them because then you'll have creepy, bony people. There's fat and skin on top of the bones. But yeah. I'm just blabbing now, guys. I apologize. Okay, and that's it for the notebooks. So I hope you guys enjoyed going through all of these with me. Um, I'm kind of happy to have them at least out there. Um, I did put, can't say a ton of effort into the little doodles I did in them, but the, I did create a lot of stuff that I did like. And if I am going to be getting rid of my notebooks, I do want to have at least something out there documenting what was in them. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more videos like this, let me know down below. I have a bazillion, zillion sketchbooks that we can go through together, and it'll be just 100% sketches, no, no, um, notes. I turned to a page with a maggot on it. Pleasant. But yeah, um, it won't be any notes, it'll be 100% sketches. Um, you can have fun cringing at some horrible drawings I've done in the past. They'll probably be even older than what I have in these notebooks here. Um, so let me know down below if you like that. Um, leave a like. That definitely is a good indicator if you want more. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Um, or more of my content in general. Um, it's always appreciated. And as always, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye!